Howdy ho lads, welcome back to our channel and today we have an ascent on our new review. If you like me and have had Cyberpunk 2077 relegated to the sidelines, just waiting for some to come along that sufficiently scratched that Cyberpunk itch, the ascent might be something for you to consider. A neon infused fever dream with a well fleshed out combat system and some innovative game mechanics, the Aston may be one of the 2021 sleepers hits. Uh, it's got plenty of exciting building blocks propping up its foundation, it's a twin stick shooter set in its sprawling cyberpunk landscape, with promises of orders of a loot for players to acquire from chest, missions and the remains of their inventories. Too often, however, the game more frustrating moments get in the way of the possibilities to the point that it's difficult to enjoy what the accent likes excels at. Set within a multi triad archaeology grime and low ranking in the turn, servants filled the top bottom levels of the accent while prestige setting and clock skies wait at the top. The game features by the books Cyberpunk set where you start out as one of those manual items as they call the Ascent, before you see your glamper of hope, a way to ascend the ranks the archaeology hierarchy. It is more a situation where you're taking care of yourself as opposed to being focused on rising above others through that part open to interpretation depending on how into role playing you are. The Ascent is not like a roguelike, it's not procedurally generated and it does not have random loot drops, thank goddess. Instead, it is masterfully created isometric lotter twin stick shooter with carefully designed everything. From the maps to the weapons to enemy and quarters, the Aston defies so many indie games now standard practice and instead carefully curates the experience for maximum effect. Loot drops are planned with and weapons armor and consumables can be bought, sold and upgraded at vendors. Additionally, your character has a long list of potential augmentation or special abilities that are on cooldown timers. The internal play of weapons, tactical gear and augmentation is truly balladic in the heart of the battle and everything can be switched out of the fly. Play the game with a four-member squad and the permutation of weapon and augmentations working in a song amazing entertaining. Through the true combat overall is probably the most familiar elements of experience. At least in the PC version of the Ascent, dialing in the optimal visuals and audio experience is available thanks to a generous number of choices. For example, there are options for a large selection of audio playback devices in a spilty audio headphone setting called Indent Mode, which places the players in a ventigrous surround of ambient noise, music, weapon effects and the voices. It is almost overwhelming. Speaking of the game music, it's uh, excellent. Signed heavy with echoes of Vangables, but capable of emotions range as well. Setting aside it's coming from a, such a small team, I think the Aston is miraculous in a couple of ways. First, the detail war building environmental storytelling and the atmosphere are maybe the best experience of the cyberpunk aesthetics I ever seen in a game. Second, the developers have seemingly catalogued the every annoying mechanic in the RPG and action games, from death to rapid travel to the inventory management, and found a way to make them loss on ROS or disappear altogether. The Ascent is not an easy game, either mechanically or thematically, but it's completely engaging if for no other reason than to see into a very convictly realized future. Considering it's made by a core team, of uh, just 12 people, the Ascent feels like it's made by a team of many times more than that. Regardless of the fact it's made of a large amount of industry veterans, I still take some serious skill to make a game this good with a team that small. The Ascent interconnected world building and exciting combat make it a pleasant surprise and one of our favorite titles on 2021 so far. So, as I said before, if you are a huge cyberpunk fan, you have to try this dish, because obviously it tastes so good. Uh, so it's kind of like a Diablo with the guns and shotguns and everything. You have to shoot, you have to do, you have to loot. Basically, the game is fantastic for the co-op and also is fantastic for the single player. If you have such opportunity to play it, just use it and play it. You would definitely enjoy this game. Yo, don't forget to comment and subscribe, tell me what you think about this game, 
and also I will leave all the links in the description I mean to the steam store and probably there are some you can get some free keys if you will be rapid okay thank you for watching guys peace have a good one